boards. This is a drawing board made from plywood and you can get uh, in other materials mainly MDF medium density fiber board uh, but they have it has a very hard surface very hard and unsympathetic surface which is not quite suitable for calligraphy particularly if it has you know someone has been cutting on it or um, marks have been made on it or there's dried paint you don't want this to show th through your paper so what you need to do is cover the board and make it into a more sympathetic surface now um, Edward Johnston in his book uh, suggested blotting paper which is a soft paper um, but I, d I suppose that's very difficult to get hold of now but anything will do that will soften the, the board. Some people like to put a piece of suede over the board um, and that makes it quite a nice surface. I have another board which I put some vinyl floor covering on and, and that's quite nice too. But um, if you're stuck, uh, newspaper is a good alternative. A few sheets of, of newspaper uh, before you put your final sheet on top and then tape it around the outside. Okay, um, here's a few sheets of newspaper from a local paper and I'm going to place them on the board like this. Now, one thing you want to avoid is any creases and things and there's a danger of that along this ridge here. So what I suggest you do is simply get an iron and just go over it just to make sure that it's nice and flat. Not often I do any ironing I can tell you. There we are. That will do I think. That feels pretty good to me. Um, and then we use that as a base and then we get another sheet of paper to lay on top of this oh, I've already cut this piece of paper to size so that is a nice soft uh, surface to, to, to write on now now what we have to do is to tape down the edges. I've got some ordinary parcel tape here but I'd usually probably use masking tape because I've got my, I'm nearly out of masking tape at the moment. Um, <clears throat> as long as it's wide enough it doesn't really matter what tape it is. Just do one side and then I'll do the rest off camera. So There, uh, we've got a nice sympathetic surface now for writing on. Much better, much, much better. But we're not finished yet. Um, if you put your piece of paper on, uh, uh, on your board and you start writing, what's going to happen as you write like this You're resting on the knuckle of your little finger. And what happens is as you're writing, this movement upsets the surface of the paper. It makes it a little bit shiny, or maybe there's a little bit of grease in your skin. And as you move down to write on the part that you've been resting on, you find that it affects the way the ink sits on the paper sometimes so we have to avoid that by having a paper guard and paper guard requires oh wait a minute before I go into that there's a comfortable area of writing which is here I'm not, I'd normally have this at an angle to 
show you, but there's this comfortable area of writing here. And you don't want to write up here because your muscles are in a quite a different configuration or over here or down here or, or across here. You don't want to write here. So it's not a good idea in my opinion. I think some calligraphers would disagree with me, but uh, it's not a good idea to pin or clip your paper to the board because you've got to write up here and then you've got to write down here. This is your comfortable area. What have we got? This is your comfortable area around here. So the best thing to do is to have this to have the area that you're writing on the paper within this area so you can move the paper if I'm writing here on that paper it's there if I'm writing there on the paper it's there do you understand so <clears throat> paper guard we get a piece of paper which just covers that area of comfortable area of writing and we tape this at both sides I'll just cut and do that so I've stuck my paper guard on with two pieces of masking tape down here but I haven't done it underneath along the bottom edge the reason for that is so that I can slip my paper behind it and if necessary it can stick out of the bottom. Can you see that? So you only need to tape on two sides. Now this paper guard now serves two purposes. One is that it protects because your, your little finger is moving on the paper guard rather than the paper you're writing on. And the other thing is that the pressure of your hand is holding the paper still. It's not going to move. So you don't need clips. So I can bring this up into my comfortable area of writing and write on it. You can move it at an angle. There's no rule to say that you need to do your calligraphy uh, with your paper horizontal. If you feel more comfortable doing it at an angle, do it at an angle. Um, the end always justifies the means. So I think it's important that you, you get your board right. So a piece of soft paper minimum taped around the board and then this guard which is very useful uh, so that I think is how to set up a board see you in the next video